Hello and welcome. In this tip of the week, we're going to cover lighting in Work Clean Create. So we're going to cover how it works, how to edit it, and then also some tips and tricks for using it to either more effectively communicate information to your end user or just to make things look a little bit cooler. So let's begin by talking about how lighting works using this sample scene here with a turbo fan. So lighting is controlled by these two or more lighting elements in the step hierarchy. So up here you can see we have these two elements called directional lights. If I click on one and then use this to focus on it, we can see that this is actually a little sprite inside our scene here. So this is the directional light that we can control. With it, we can edit it like any other 3D asset. So we can change its position, its rotation, and its scale, as well as in the object properties, we can rename it and we can control its properties here. So the intensity of the light and the color of the light. However, before we go any further, it's worth understanding that within WorkLink Create, we have basically universal lighting models. So these directional lights only provide direction of light and intensity and color. Their position or and scale have no bearing on the overall lighting of the scene. So what does that mean? Well, right now we look at our turbo fan and we can see it's lit like this. And we have this directional light that's kind of pointing this way. But if I were to use my position gizmo and drag this thing way out here, so it's super far away from our initial asset, and then focus back in, we'll see the lighting on it has not changed. That's because the position of those lights has no effect on the lighting. It's just their direction and then their properties. So how can we affect the lighting? Well, with that directional light that we were changing selected, we could go over here and change its intensity. And if we look at our asset here, we're gonna watch that as we make this intensity, let's, let's do a significant change, let's change this to one, then the whole scene is gonna get darker. Whereas if I move this up to five, obviously the whole scene is going to get very bright. So returning to standard, we can also control the color here. So if I change this to a red, then we could get some sort of Star Wars-esque, very moody lighting we'll return to our initial light. What we can also affect is the direction of the light. So if I return back to my element here and we zoom out a little bit and then we flip it upside down. So let's use our rotation gizmo and let's flip it so it points straight up and down. Then if we return to our turbo fan, we're gonna see now we're getting this crazy effect where this whole thing is being underlit. So that's a basic understanding of these lighting elements and how we can control them. However, there is a note here and it's that there's a difference between how Create renders the lighting elements and how the app does. So what is that difference? Well, quickly, let's undo this. And the biggest thing is that the app focuses on this initial directional light element as the primary source of lighting. And then all subsequent directional light elements have an effect only in um, sort of little highlights, but you won't actually see the direct reflections of these. So if you want to change where light is being reflected from, you're going to want to change this initial directional light to have a strong effect in the app. Whereas with the secondary one, it's more like to add a little bit of highlight here. So one trick that I tend to use to give a little bit of a cool looking effect is if I duplicate this last directional light here, so we now have three, we can then focus in on the duplicated one. Then I'm gonna take this duplicated one, I'm gonna move it just so that I can see more clearly what I'm doing here. But again, because the position doesn't matter, you wouldn't have to. And I'm just gonna have it point kind of up a little bit. And this is a relatively weak one at 0.5. We're gonna go ahead and change that in a moment. But if I then focus back in on my turbo fan, then we can start to see we're getting a little bit of a lighting effect down at the bottom here. So it won't be as pronounced in the app, but there still will be some evidence of it. So I go into this directional light then, and we can change its color a little bit. So this can be up to your discretion. I tend to think that kind of this like very light purple can kind of give a cool techie look and then maybe increase its intensity to one. Then you can kind of achieve a cool little techie look that will look quite fancy and create and will have a reasonable effect in the app as well. Thank you, and I hope this was useful.